about 30 to 50 years back in these little acres. We sit with them for oh, easily 20 minutes or more. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it did. It took us to get over the water. It doesn't seem to be the weather. Hey everyone, hello, can we get everyone's attention just for one second? <laughs> so I would like to introduce Doug Lowry and Doug, forgive me, I don't know what your actual title is here. Neither do I. We'll make one up. It begins with an A. <laughs> I'm the adult uh, program coordinator here, but uh, yeah, it's like any nonprofits, the yeah. uh, hats come off the mouth. Anyway, uh, Doug and the director here, Sue McCall, were very uh, kind to let us host this year's Nature Photographers Photo Sharing event. And so I'm just going to turn over to Doug to make a few comments about Mass Audubon and South Shore Sanctuaries and so forth, and then I'll follow up after that. Doug? Yeah, thanks Thanks so much for, for using our facility for this. It's, it's amazing. I understand there's quite a a history of generous kindness from this from this group so we appreciate it for sure uh, so this is our office and we basically maintain three uh, pretty large particles of, of land here you know on the south shore uh, one that you're probably very familiar with is Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary how many people have photographed there <laughs> All right, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we we love the fact that so many photograph uh, photographers use that property uh, because uh, just we get to see a lot of your uh, postings on Facebook. Uh, it's good PR. Your more eyes watching what's going on down there. Uh, it's a big piece of property, uh, and we have some great caretakers there right now. But the more eyes that are down there, the, the better. Um, very quickly, uh, it was a dairy farm for years. With, uh, most recently, before we got a hold of it, was the Dwyer family had it for a dairy farm. And originally, it was salt marsh, it was an estuary. And they diked it off to turn it into more of a fresh water habitat so they could grow more hay than salt marsh hay. <clears throat> uh, which Daniel Webster was part of, was part of his, his farm, basically. Uh, the fisher folk weren't too keen on the idea because an estuary obviously is a great uh, nursery for fish. And so there was a plot uh, to blow up the dike. Uh, and actually they were caught going down the street with a wheelbarrow full of dynamite. So there's, a, there's that part of the history that's kind of neat. How long ago was this? No, uh, this was the yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a while ago, but what uh, what we're what the town of Marshfield is doing right now is they're slowly letting more salt water influx back into the river in hopes that it scours it out a little bit, maybe knocks back some of the Phragmite, which mm -hmm. is uh, you can see as you've seen is really starting mm -hmm. to take over. Uh, we are always looking for grant money to try to eradicate the spread of that. Oh. But how many people have noticed uh, the change in the red maple swamp there along the boardwalk? 